Hey everybody, it's Andrew. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can reintegrate Google Calendar in case you're having any issues with it getting synced up for the platform. This is gonna be pretty straightforward, so let's dive right in. When you're logged in as a user, you're gonna to go to settings, and then you're first going to go to my profile. Now, once we're on our profile, if we scroll down under calendar settings, we should see our connected Google Calendar. Now, if you don't see a Google Calendar here, then it means you just haven't connected it yet. So you can go ahead and click add calendar or skip this step and just wait till we get to that part. But if you've already integrated Google Calendar having some issues, the first thing we're going to do is delete this Google Calendar by clicking the little trash icon on the right hand side. We'll click confirm so we can get that out of there and reset our calendar settings. Now, if you had no calendar in the first place, this is the screen you would have seen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click add new. This is going to bring up our calendars interface where we can see Google Calendar, Outlook, iCloud, and Calendly. In this video, I'm going to be showing you Google. So just go ahead and click connect at the top right hand side for Google. Once you do that, it's going to send you over to integrations within settings. And then we're going to see right here at connect your locations, Google account, a little sign in with Google button. Go ahead and click that. Now, once you click that, it may ask you which Google account you want to use to select the Google account you would like to use, and then click continue when it says sign into Lead Connector. It'll give you a notification of all of the different permissions that Lead Connector needs to have. Just go ahead and click allow at the bottom right hand side. Once you do that, it'll send you back to your sub account. And if it doesn't, just go back and make sure it says connected right here under integrations in our settings. Now we can navigate back to my profile at the top part of settings. And then what we're going to do is scroll back down to our calendar settings. And I will see that our Google calendar is back and connected. Now we're not done quite yet. The next step that we need to do is under calendar configuration, you're going to see linked calendar. You'll see right here on the right hand side, add a calendar to sync your bookings. And you'll see a little warning saying that no calendar is selected. What we're going to do is click add, and then we are going to select our Google calendar. By default, it'll say which third party calendar do you want to add new events to? And it will default to do not add any new events to the calendar. If you want this to work, you have to click your Google calendar and then select a Google Calendar that you would like to be using in order to add new events. Then click Save, and it will say that your request is being processed. This usually will only take a couple of seconds, up to maybe a minute or two. Now that you see under Calendar Configuration, Link's Calendar officially has our Google Calendar synced up. Now we are good to go. If you want to make any additional changes, you can go to Advanced Settings, click that, and then you can change things like Default One-Way Sync to Two-Way Sync. One-way sync is just saying that the calendar can push out events and two-way sync allows events to go back and forth between the two. And when you're done making your changes, go ahead and click save and close. Additionally, you can make edits to conflict calendars. This section is going to be accounting for conflicts. So things like holidays, birthdays, or any other calls that you have set up on your Google Calendar already. This is pulling this little call from my Google Calendar. Then you can turn those on and you can click save so that way you don't have any conflicts when booking back and forth. Now, once you have all those settings configured, you should be good to go in making sure that your calendar is synced between Google and the platform. But if you have any questions about how to sync or maybe you're experiencing still some issues, be sure to get on support or leave a comment if you have any questions. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, thank you for watching.